last couple of years has been shaky for the game industry, especially for me. I believe I've started to lose faith in the AAA studio area because they've just been dropping games that are kind of just average. Now, you wouldn't expect a AAA studio to drop average games. You would expect them to drop, you know, big budget, high quality games. With the recent controversy over the years with like, you know, microtransactions, paying $70 for a DLC uh, because of Call of Duty and stuff like that, you know, things have gotten a little bit, I guess you could say, hopeless. Over the years, we've gotten, you know, better games from indie developers or studios that we've never even like heard of before that are performing better or making better games than uh, those AAA studios that we know about. Now, where I'm trying to go with this is that we've had our one to two years of good gaming over the year. We had 2022, and I believe 2024 is a really good year for gaming. I mean, just look at it. We got Persona 3, Metaphor Refantasio. We got uh, Stellar Blade. We got a bunch of games. I, I mean, I might not remember all of them right now, but we got some really good games. I'll be honest, out of all these games that have released, there's one game that has been the most surprising to me that has been super good. And I'm not going to lie. After, I guess, going through half the game, I have to say this is probably top three this year. So the game that I'm talking about is Astrobot. I've been playing this game nonstop for the past like two to three days. I mean, just just the cameos themselves are just that exciting to look at and even just the gameplay i never played the free astrobot and i'll be honest it kind of sucks that you need to pay the extra ten dollars to have the licensed like all the licensed characters i mean given i didn't just buy the base game but i did see that uh to purchase an extra ten dollars for i would guess extra missions uh it does kind of suck there are some characters that i recognize by looks but not name or by series and I will say, it's kind of interesting to see them, you know, considering they aren't like natively like Sony first party games, maybe at the time they were of their release, but it's still cool to see them. Like you got your Resident Evil people here. You got Parappa the Rapper. You got Crash Bandicoot, Jack and Daxter. You got uh, Ken and Ryu. They got Ape Escape over here and they have Christian Ronaldo. Yep. Then you have, what's his name? Ratchet and Clank. And then you have the new chick from uh, Rift Apart that I, I don't know. You have Ace Combat Evolved. You have the dude from Days Gone. You have Okami. You have all the people from God of War. You have fucking Dante from Devil May Cry, which is insane. Then you have, you know, The Last of Us. You have the Metal Gear characters, which I'm not gonna lie. When I saw Gray Fox for the first time, I was giggling and kicking my feet. It was it was pretty good. Now, as you can see back here, we have Spyro. We have the literal hunter from Bloodborne, which parries all my attacks. He's just like me, guys. They have Cole McGrath. Then you have, I forgot what his name is, but he's from uh, Second Son. Then you have the neon chick from Second Son. Uh, I think this is the cat from Stray. Am I... I think, I think that's the cat from Stray. Over here, we have the cast of Uncharted, which I thought was really cool. And you know who you see back there in the corner? You know who you see back there in the corner? We have Igus. They, uh, I, I don't know who this character's name is, but I know they're from Persona 4. Then you have Joker, Joker from Persona 5. Uh, I'll be honest, I have no idea who these people are, but they look mad familiar. You have Sly Cooper right here. Get out the safe, buddy. I forgot what this game was, but it, I, I remember seeing this game and I wanted to play it so bad. Then you have the people from Castlevania. You have Trevor Belmont. You have Alucard. Then you have freaking pyramid head i haven't unlocked the uh the butcher sword for him yet but it's so cool that i have him uh other than that there's this one chick right here i forgot what her name was but i really wanted to play this game too when it was first uh showed off but yeah i i find this game so cool because you can literally call everybody to you they all just freaking drop whatever they're doing to come and see you like look at them running and wobbling over here like they look so goofy and then what you could do is right you can literally just organize them and then dance with them like, this is so cool. Like, I love the different dances. Like, you got the flaws. I don't even know what you call this. I don't know what you call this. You got a little dabs in there. You got the Carlton. Like, oh, these are so good. But yeah, this game has, like, restored my faith in older, like, style video, video games. Because the more I play this, the more I realize that simple games are needed in the industry. We have all these games that are super complex with their plot lines might not be the most complex gameplays but like they want you to like test your ideologies your moral compass and stuff like that but this game is just it's just platforming it's just super mario but sony and 
I really appreciate that because it's just just pure enjoyment. You don't really have to. There isn't. I don't even think there is a story. I mean, you got you know you got to save the bots, build the mothership back, which is just a PlayStation. But like, it's just simple fun. I can I can really appreciate that. Like, I just it makes me feel like a kid again. Just playing uh, any like random game that has platforming and just go crazy. I, I really do enjoy this. And I also like how they have like a gotcha machine, which is basically just getting the actual like items for all the characters too. Like you see this, like, let me touch the little bot. But yeah, you could do this to get uh, the items that you need to uh, like have special interactions with the characters, which I think is really cool. Oh, look at that. I just unlocked right in this watermelon thing. And I like how they show you like whenever you do unlock like new things to interact with them, they also show where on the map that there are. It's really cool. I, I really like that a lot. But yeah, this game is just, it's just goofy. And I think I like that the most about it. It's just simple fun. Like I was saying, this game is super fun. I feel like everybody should play this. And honestly, it's changed my way of like playing games as of recently. I feel like I should just get all the new releases that I want to play from that year out of the way. And then I can go back and play these older games. Uh, Cause man, I feel like I was missing out when I first started this because I was like two months late. But regardless, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.